Lord, speak to me. Yes, yes.
I said, all right. But the thing what I was supposed to get, I didn't want to get. Because the drama behind it. But I went for it. I did my homework. 
<laughs> and I wanted to get some physical. <laughs> I wanted to get some calabash guts and aloes. <laughs> I wanted to get some wonder of the world and some molasses. Good medicine. And I wanted to put it in there. And we're going to stand right here. Because of the magnitude of your profile, <laughs> I could not get the one for fifteen dollars. <laughs> when you're dealing with good men and women of God, you don't buy cheap things. No, I don't believe in that. Amen. I go pilgrimage, sing out my attitude. They give me a basket with towel and chop. Yes. I could buy that from Dollar General. Big me with gray hair, all in my ear. Yeah, pasta. Four towels in a basket. <laughs> they even mix the color, they give me four white chalk. <laughs> and four white chalk, like if you say, I know, start the point. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Well, listen to me. Exactly. When I think. Exactly. When I start to open my beak, a lot of people, teach and mother, don't know our identity because they look at our outward instead of our in. But I research. And in everything I do, Bishop, I do to you first. When you bring the medicine just now, I eat it first, I know it is. If the head's sick, the body can't eat. Come on. I first must eat and be well. Then I could treat those that are sick. Amen. Amen. But what thing we like so much of fame and fortune. Mm. Yes. Mm. Drink that, 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 drink so, uh, this kind of heavy because you're heavy. Ashe. You're not a lightweight Baptist, a just come fly by night Baptist. You are a Abbess Queen Mother. Ashe. And you see this?
make you live by the word of God. So shall you be by the word of God. Nothing can kill you if you live in the word. No enemy can rise up against you once you have the word. No sickness could stay with you once you have the word. So I've given you this all. Holy. That you may even cut away sickness. That's the word. Holy. Sometimes you have to take God as it, at his word. Yes. And say, God, this is a representation of your word. I'm going to pass it on my body. Make my body whole. Make it whole. He did it before. And he can do it again. So, the point sharp, but the edge dog. There's an old African tradition that you hand your friend a sword with a blade in your hand. And if you pull it away gently, he's your friend. But if you pull it away hard, you are my elder. Mickey, how much children I have? How much church I have you on my elder? So I am not going to practice elderness with you. <laughs> I want to trust the learners. We have no respect and discipline for our elders. Because we name leader. I point so much at children. I'm just like them. No, you're not. They were here before you. Yes. Know your place and your state. That's right. So, I don't like white. But I tell you, white makes me behave decent. <laughs> so true. So true. But I want to give you this on my knees. I'm humbling myself before you because I want you to use this sword and challenge God at this replica of his word challenge God I told God here right here on the floor I said Jesus if you send me here let me wake up tomorrow Hello. let that be proof yes challenge God and ask him to cut everything out of you that makes you uncomfortable in serving him can I say that? I'm holding it tight. And I'm holding it between the lifeline of my finger so if I get cut a dead. But I trust you. And I trust that God sent you. And I trust that the work is not done on earth. And I trust that God's gonna heal you. And I trust that God's gonna hear you. And I trust that God's gonna build you up. I trust God for you. A life for a life. Ooh, sir. This is the one that's gonna sharpen it for you.
I just want to glorify the Almighty God yes. and receive this gift. You know, um, I receive it with, with, with honor. God bless you. Praise the Lord. You know, um, I appreciate your humbleness. And as um, I was telling Teacher Mark a couple of weeks ago, that I had a dream. I could remember, I, I don't remember all of the dream. I, I wasn't really sure who the person was, but I'm quite certain you was the man. Thank you. And there was some sort of anointing or something taking place. I can't tell you. Because most times when I dream, I, you know, I, I get little flashes. I, I don't really remember most of my dreams. I don't know if it's for purpose, God don't want me to know because if I know, whatever, whatever. Because you have to figure out, you know, the reason why God is giving you little pieces here and pieces here and pieces here. So I want to thank you, both carnally and spiritually, for being who you are, for walking your walk and talking your talk. For keeping this house in decency and in order. For the household of faith. For the obedience and the authority that you're walking with. I just want to glorify the Almighty God for you. And bless you in the same likeness and manner. And you see the same thought? I know much about things, but I know that it's blessed. Yes. yes. So I'm going to use this same law so, to bless and keep you in our name and in Jesus' name. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So we want to hear from the women. Because we know too well, as we said earlier, you know, the peace was after Abraham alone. We were talking, um, someone talked about procreation. You, can, you can't do it by yourself. Right. So without further ado, I would like to bring our Bishop Hazel to the podium. That she may be able, you know, to give us a word. You yes, know, Lord. Lord. And the overseer 
you know, he keep going in and out and touching everything, people thinking about. But that is okay. And because of spiritual warfare, the Holy Spirit will direct us to bring certain lessons to the house, what we don't want to hear and deal with. We become very hypocritical. Because we have to understand according to the word, when the father looked down, we were all like filthy rats. But one day, the apostle Paul stood before a human judge. And as he stood before the human judge, he told that human judge that he understood where he was coming from because he once was thinking as the human judge was thinking. We're going to Acts of the Apostles 26. However, he had a problem with the human judge who is the human king. Because the human king was still operating according to the human nature. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. But at that time, Paul was not operating in the human nature anymore. Mm. He was operating in the divine oh, yes. nature oh, yeah. oh, no. of God. Yes. Yes. So a change came. Resurrection took place. Yes, sir. A new birth. So Paul held on to his hope. And in his conversation, it was of confidence and surety. And as we grow in Christ, our conversation should also remain in confidence towards the living God yes, without fear and with fear. And the garment that we first have to put on is the belt of truth. Yes, when we go Oh, with the belt of truth. Yes. Nothing could bring us down. Amen. Nothing could sway us to the left nor the right. Amen. We will be able to stand firm Amen. in Jesus on my Praise God. Yes. Uh, we'll have uh, Mother Allison. Thank you. Thank God.
the men and the old. To all mothers. To all teachers, shouters, and co-workers in the field of God. I sing too much for all the years. It's more than 40 years I can just speak. Come on. And for all the hours that we've been held, yes, you sing. I've been singing. Yes, yes. For seven hours, I was singing. Children, 
When they see you, they don't find out. So the man with the doctor, they say they have ADHD. No, it was a big situation that caused the egg. And he spoke to me. Come on, come see me. Come on, come see me. Can't sit on the street. They can't sit on the street, yes. Um, so we just need to take some of them and wash them. Yes. Amen. And we have to clean the sea. And we have to bring them unto righteousness. Unto righteousness. That's right. That's the word. Mm. And when you bring them unto righteousness, only can I dare they can be cast off because their mind is now Israel, let us walk and understand who God is. That's right. Because when you are sanctified, listen to me, you just have your story in behind you. Yeah. When you are sanctified, you just have your story in line. So when Christ comes, and he starts saying, well, what is your story? You can't lie, you know. No. Because he already know sure. your story. Amen. But when you're sure of your story, you does not even have to call you. You just start to say, This is my story. Come on. Yes. 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 Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. So it's not just for you. Yes, sir. Sanctification is to take you to a place that is like heaven. Sanctification is so when you fall asleep and you see people lying on your coffin. Come on. Sanctification, sir. Weep not to be the least. There is hope. Yes. yes. If we do and we walk according to God, we will understand that there is hope. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It that's right. Is, is my song. I know. So as we hear the answer.
in time I'd like to call my beloved minister. I just, just want to just touch on, just mention, uh, concerning the, 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 the lesson, just one or two. Let us stand. The Bible, the, 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 the lesson speaks of sanctification and sanctifying yourself. Yes. It speaks, uh, it, it says that, you know, I need not tell you about love because You've been taught love from God. It speaks about, I will not have you ignorant. Because sometimes when we are rejected, we feel as though they're rejecting us, yes. but they're rejecting God. Yes. And sometimes we take it personal, you know, but we should not. And the last verse says what? It, it says, you know, we ought to teach one another. Yes. Yes. This is what the whole lesson of all this yes. Bible is about, you know. That those who know the will yes. teach. will teach. Yes. Each one teach one. Yes. Christ came and he gave, you know, he didn't came for him, he didn't come to save himself. Right. He came that he came and died and died so that what? We can be forgiven. That we may enter into that place we were once alienated from yes. because of sin. So today, the opportunity lies at the door. The Bible speaks about liberty, and liberty is an opportunity where we have, right. we still have with God while we are still alive and in the land of the living. Mm -hmm. So let us take advantage of, of this opportunity we have today, yes. because tomorrow isn't promised to any of us. Yes. In all the name of Jesus, Jesus in the mighty name, teach him out. My brother in Christ. When I look at the lights, it seems that we have, that we worked very hard for the time. Oh Lord. We, that it went right down that we have to get up. Blue lights. So I trust that if you take a look around, everything yes. is in order. order. So I want to hand it back to you. Thank you. With the goodness of my heart, because I feel like taking something to Boston. Praise God. It might be something very precious to you. That's right. Well, I'm handing it back. So I'm going to take the chat? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to thank you all 
for today. Give yourselves a round of applause. Oh, yeah. <laughs> On behalf of Taylor Harp, the ministerial staff, the Mother's Court, the members, we want to thank you all for stopping with us today. Thank you for your gifts, thank you for your gratitude, thank you for your grace, thank you for your wonderful singing voices. Thank you for your wonderful singing voices. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And for everyone that made that work hard to make this a success in the Harp team, give yourselves a round of applause. Of Sometimes the pastor does claim all the credit for the members who do all the work, you know, that kind of way. I'm one of those people. Praise God. But I've seen my members work hard. Yes? Some, some so, some clean, some big. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Some shop, uh, some just talk. Yeah. But yes. they still work. They still work. work. Yes, they work them out. Yeah. Yes, yeah. 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 So um, I want to thank God for each and every one of you. I want to thank God for you. And um, I hope that um, this is the beginning of something new. You know, sometimes we tell on things in the past and it caused us to stay in the past. But we are present beings. That's right. Hallelujah. The past is dead. Yes, hallelujah. We can't come back. Hallelujah. We're living in the now. Yes. Praise yes. God. Yes. And if each one of us understand how precious life is, we will treat each other better. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. So I want God, I want to bless God for you. And I've got I've known it for a long time. Praise, Praise God. God. Since I was 110 pounds. <laughs> I'm now 201 pounds. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Uh -huh. Since I was 22, I'm now 50. Hallelujah. So I'm waiting for a long time. I want to keep it. Bishop, I want to thank God for you. Keep that spirit. Yeah. I learned so much from you throughout the year. You might not know. I'll give you flowers now. Yes. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Stay the way That's you right. are because That's right. young men like me was watching all these years yes. and gained some of what you gave yes. secretly onto you. Yes. I want to thank God for you. Um, I want to bless God for each and everyone. Um, Day and a half to my lovely children that work so hard. Tomorrow's no church. <laughs> Look at the smile. Uh oh, <laughs> like, like, I'm like, a church. Like, church. <laughs> I am a fair leader. I'm sorry. Oh God, my God. So I'm cook since five o'clock. Amen. Amen. We're shouting because it's God, you know. That's right. If it was done, you'd have fallen down already. Mm -hmm. They're tired. Tired. Not tired. You're tired. 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 Yeah. Yes. So um, they will enjoy the day off. I'll call them and sing a couple of hymns to keep them in the right place. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. And I want to thank God for you all. Please don't leave. We have so much food prepared for you all. Yes. We have Esco Beach Fish. We have Yard Fowl. We have Stew Pork. We yes. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> We have a whole hog while hogging your freeze up there. <laughs> That's alright. Watch me. Go on and all things he has. Black, black, all kind of things. Come on. Come on. Come on. So we have some food for you all. Yes. You want to go back nourished. There's endless drinks. Take, some, take as much as you want. Yes. yes. And um, please, um, we shall roll safely. Um, let me just do God's duty. Please don't. I'm not a very mad face, but don't leave the collection. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. Oh, but that's not bad. No. 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 That's so smart. Praise God. Yes. Let me tell you something. Watch me. You ever come in the church and you shout when the lights go off? Yeah. And you take the breaker trip? No, the leader is in the bill. Only tell you go and get out of the Praise the Lord. Praise so the Lord. bless God for you all. Um, I am not going to close service, but I want to ask um, my brother leader Sherwin. We have known each other from plenty long. So I'm going to ask him. He's no stranger. He's no guest here. He's like a son at home. Praise God. I want to close service for me. Praise God, mother name. But in Jesus, Almighty. Almighty name. Thank you again. Um, everybody, they have the magazine ready for them? Yes. Please, I want, I want um, a few people to escort them. They must carry the bags. Escort them to the bus. Why worry about if you know the Lord is blessing you? Why you got to sing and shout? Glory, hallelujah, praise the Lord.
death in your family. Yeah. Just keep on living. That's right. So it's just so cool. It's going to come. I, I remember when I, I, I analyzed the people in my village in Moruga Road when I, I came from house to house and, and I skipped my house and until seven years ago when my mommy was taken away from me viciously by a disease called cancer. And, and then in March, the 4th of March of this year, yeah. my daddy yeah. was snatched away from me yes, right in front of my eyes. That yeah. yeah. Bishop Kester said a word one time and, and he said that, that death is very disrespectful because death doesn't care if you have to go to somebody's wedding tomorrow. If your time is here, death snatches you, come on. And if you are ready or not, the song says that uh, the Lord is coming. The scripture says that he comes like a thief in the night. Will you be ready? Will you be ready when the bridegroom comes? Uh, that Jesus spoke about our uh, five white virgins and five foolish. Which ones are you going to be? But John spoke when he was exiled in the state penitentiary called Patmos. He says, ah, 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 the new Jerusalem. Come on, on somebody. The new Jerusalem, when, 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 when streets are going to be paved with gold, with bulwarks of salvation, strong, he says, and streets of shining gold. Are you going to be? Yes, and we sing this song, and we sing this hymn, and we gonna go, and we wish Mother Martha, Bishop, Terrence Ashby, King Shepherd, ah, uh, ah, uh, we wish everybody a, a good, safe travel. Come on, can we be? Hello, hello, let me tell you something, buddy. It could have been so different, tragic, That's right. yeah. bad. You have heard in the news uh, a bunch of people who are coming from Boston to the, the, the state of New York and X and Y happened. Oh God, but nothing. When Christ is in the vessel, oh hallelujah. And we say this in verse and we're gonna close in Jesus' name.